we have here a lot of three 19th century American astronomy books. As you can see, this first book, the covers are uh, detached like so. The spine is chipped, and although it does retain its original decorative title label, uh, and we see, however, what distinguishes this book is that it's quite early. It's 1826 by James Ryan. It's for uh, astronomy in the United States. That's a fairly early date. I'm going to set the cover down here. In fact, a lot of times, uh, if you are looking at a book that has the covers detached, it's easiest to just look at the text block because it remains sewn like this. What we'll notice inside, which is also of quite some interest, are these uh, plates that relate to, for instance here, uh, constellations and zodiac signs like this. These are also American produced plates, which is uh, interesting for this date for astronomy. We have here, and what's also interesting is these appear to be woodcut plates. Uh, there's planetary. Uh, as opposed to steel engraved, there's also these illustrations throughout the text, like so. Then there's this telescopic appearance of Venus here, a wood engraved early telescopic view of that planet. We have here telescopic appearance of Mars. Huh. Okay, with a little chapter on Mars with questions. And here is appearance of Jupiter. And we have this surface of the moon image, which is quite nice. And so we have here now Comet of 1811. Hmm, yeah, it's very interesting. Okay, I think those are the plates that are in this volume. So this is in poor shape and that's the first book. The next one is also heavily worn, 1837, leathers dried, spines cracked, the paper covered boards are well rubbed. There's actually an 1887 inscription with notations here. It's 1839, which is interesting. 37 on the cover, 39 on the title page. You see that a lot in the 19th century around this date uh, because the publisher would be reusing covers or uh, inserting new title pages as the book got revised, much like textbooks do today. Uh, Burrett is a very well-known name, as is Thomas Dick. And so we see here how this book survives. There are illustrations throughout. It's heavily worn uh, from usage, which is typical of a lot of scientific books of this era, particularly astronomy books for some reason. Uh, and here is the last one in this group, which is also 1870, illustrated uh, with what appears to be that is a wood engraving as well. And it is an instructional book, like the other two are. And it's well illustrated throughout with these small in-text uh, woodcuts, like so. Yes. Yep, there we are, surface of the moon. There's another one, ideal landscape of the moon. <laughs> and here's the phases of the moon. Interesting, on the earth. Yeah, very interesting. And so, these three books are now available and being sold, offered as one lot, online from me, Brian DeMambro.